you guys so I am back today with another review and this time I'm going to be reviewing Eden Body Works natural curl defining cream this is a fairly large container I'm guessing about 16 ounces and I was right 16 ounces so this contains coconut and shea we're going to read the side here coconut shea natural curl defining cream as humidity resistant formulation designed to refine and separate curls and waves apply to dry or damp hair finger comb product through the hair until the desired level of curl definition is reached air fuse or oh, diffuse or air dry so it sounds like you could use this for a wash and go more than likely as a styler for a wash and go we ain't gonna be doing that instead we are going to be doing flat twists and i think I'm gonna try to do perm rots on the end. So you guys, um, my hair was washed yesterday. I kind of put a uh, blow dryer to my hair to blow it out and to also dry it. I'm getting some hair clips. Um, another thing I like to do with my twist is I allow my twist to set for at least two days. I know that could be like what? But that way I get super defined twists. So my hair is already parted. Y'all know me, I like a deep part. And so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take down this side, flat twist on fairly dry hair, and then yeah. Now I'm gonna be pairing this particular product with Echo Style Gel because I just don't think that this would be enough hold on its own. Let's look at the consistency very thick this is the consistency of a thicker can two or tgin's twist and define cream okay that's what i would compare it to as far as consistencies go it has a very light coconut smell uh, but very very creamy okay so i'm going to go ahead and take down this part now i'm not a great flat twister but we're gonna make it work girl so i'm gonna lightly finger detangle my hair with flat twists and though you want to make sure your hair is okay so yes girl look at that length all right so i like to use a wooden comb um and i do have a review on how i detangle with a wooden comb all right Okay, so I'm gonna take that much, a dime size. I'm gonna smooth it all the way through. I'm gonna need a little bit more. And I can handle a little bit more because of my strands and also because I don't need it, need it to dry tomorrow because it's gonna set all day tomorrow. Take a little bit of gel. Okay, now I'm going to separate into two. And then I'm gonna start twisting and picking up hair as I twist. See that? I pick that up, twist. I pick this up. Girl, this is hard as hell. So now I'm going to go in with a little bit more of the cream and the gel, okay? Now, I could do a hanging Bantu knot, which would be twist, twist, twist. Girl, it's been a while since I've done these. Let's see. And there we go. There's a hanging Bantu knot. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna continue this process by applying the styler along with the gel and a little bit of oil. But actually, after a while, I decided that my hair needed more moisture and a leave-in. So before applying the Eden Body Works Styler, I actually lightly, um, you can see there, I put my hand under the faucet for some water. And then I started to use the ORS leave-in conditioner, which is a very thick leave-in conditioner. Then I applied the styler, the gel, and oil. And then I went forward and flat twisted my 
my hair. Now, I felt like these twists were actually too big, so I went back and at least the first flat twist in the front of my hair, as you see here, I'm going to go back and redo those a little bit smaller, okay? So continuing to flat twist my hair and I do apologize but my camera unexpectedly shut off so I wasn't able to capture what my hair looked like when it was done but I am not the best at flat twisting my hair um it is but it is but I'm trying to turn around so you can see what it looks like and as I stated before I did go back and add some other products because I just felt like my hair was a little too dry so I allowed the twist to stay in for about two days and here I am unraveling I did end up putting some perm rods towards the end just because I felt like my hair would be going all types of ways um, just for a little curl. So I'm going to slowly remove the perm rods, add some hair oil to prevent frizz, and we're going to start taking down the twist. All right, you guys, I am done unraveling my hair. Now, I didn't separate a lot. Um, getting frizzy at the bottoms here. Not as much definition as I would hope for. It's more of a soft beach body wave. I'll show you the back. You see how it's getting frizzy at the back too? Yeah, so. Even pairing it with the gel, I still don't get as much hold as I thought I would. So I can't say that I would recommend this product for styling. Um, I would probably use this as a leave-in conditioner to be honest, but hey, it is what it is. I don't want to separate too much because it's definitely going to get frizzier and frizzier. And mind you, my, hair, my hands are oily. So that should have helped prevent frizz. And of course, 
I did, as I stated in the commentary, I did go back and use, started using a leave-in conditioner, a very heavy leave-in conditioner, the styling gel. I also wet my hair a few times too, because again, that's moisture. And then I added an oil and yeah, it's beautiful, but I would not be able to maintain this look, especially if you live in an area that's humid. Granted, Phoenix is very dry. This is going to not last by the morning. So anyway, that is it everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, bye.